finna spit the illest lyrics White man be warned Manufactured in poverty That's how a criminal's born White supremacy exists Cause blacks were stripped naked Of the cash they was making Black businesses forsaken Real uh, shit. I get that bacon Fuck boys busy hating I be pu So guys I'm gonna make a very important video today And it's gonna be about both race And music Okay I wanna open your eyes to what the heck is going on in the music industry. But before I do, I want to let you hear a little clip, a little snippet of a new favorite singer, a new favorite white singer on my list. Okay? Listen. <laughs> It's all or nothing really got a way of driving me crazy I need somebody to heal, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to hold It's easy to say, but it's never the same I guess I kind of like the way you know I'm going to pay I'm going to cut it right there. And I don't want not one of y'all to tell me that what you just heard wasn't some of the most beautiful singing that you ever heard in your life. If you say it was trash, then you trash. And I'm just being honest with you. Because this man can sing his butt off. But with that being said, um, just in case I don't know, King Leo is a music producer and a songwriter and a rapper. Okay, at one point I used to I used to sing, but my voice ended up getting a little bit deep and um I said, "You know what? <laughs> Let me just uh stop trying to sing because I can't hit the notes that I would like to hit." And you know, the notes that once upon a time I used to be able to execute nicely. But let's talk about hip hop and uh, pop and, and um, good music versus bad music today. I'm going to give Teddy Swims credit for giving credit to, you know, his roots as far as music is concerned. As you can see, he's, he's rocking a Michael Jackson T-shirt. Um, he sings, he, he's, he's, his genre of music is soul that this is soul music. Just in case y'all don't know, this is soul music. Um, and, uh, I can tell that Teddy swims is a, is a, uh, you know, he's the type of guy that has black friends as y'all like to say, but I believe in my humble opinion, Teddy swims has more soul than a lot of white men, okay? He has more soul, um, which in turn means he knows how to care about somebody. He knows how to give a damn, so to speak. But with that being said, let's jump on, let's jump into the, the whole music aspect. Let's jump into the, the main topic. What I've noticed is that white singers have the ability to make good music like this in the industry. For some reason, every time I turn around, this kind of music is being made by white people. Whatever happened to black people making this kind of music? I really don't want to throw the race card. I don't want to pull a race card, but I'm just pointing out the facts. Why why is it that we have so many white people doing soul music and black people don't even do music that they created? How is this possible, guys? I'm going to tell you exactly how it's possible. 
the people that run the industry, the people that run the industry control the cards. They are the puppet masters. What am I talking about? Okay. When you have the ability to tell a black kid or a black man that's coming from the hood, when you have the ability to tell him, we're not going to work with you if you're not making shoot them up, kill them, kill them music. What do you expect a musician from the hood, a black male musician from the hood to do? Seriously, what do you expect him to do? Keep making that good old soul music and never get a record deal and 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 um never achieve his dreams of becoming a successful a successful musician? Is that what you expect him to do? Or or do you expect him to um because he got to feed his family, he got to feed his his he, he got to uh pay his light bill. He got to pay his car note. So a man is going to do what he's going to do. Uh, a man is going to do what he has to do. And, uh, and unfortunately, a lot of times they resort to making the kind of trash music you hear today. This is what's happening in the industry, guys, just in case you were wondering and just in case you were asleep. Black men are being told, huh. We ain't going to work with you. They being told by the big labels, Columbia, okay? I'm talking about the Giants. Think of any of the Giants that you know about in the industry, the music label holders in the industry. These people are being told by these Giants, we ain't going to work with you. Man, I ain't going to pay you a million dollars. Not for that soulful music. Oh, you want to be a soulful artist. Oh, you want to talk about love. Oh, you want to talk about, you want to talk about relationships and X, Y, Z and togetherness. Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't going to get this million dollar deal, homie. See, this is, this is what they're doing to black men. They're telling them that you... You cannot get a deal, black man, if, you, if you're if you an R&B artist. So just in case y'all were wondering whatever happened to R&B, there's no money behind it no more. And it's, it's primarily because the industry is full of a bunch of white people, white males, that want black men to specifically talk about killing each other on these songs on these hip hop songs and the reason why they wanted hip hop to be the genre that um these black boys and men talk about killing each other on the reason why they chose hip hop is because hip hop is the most popular the most flyest version of music on planet earth and everybody knows it. It's the flyest version of music that you could ever do. It's fly, point blank. It's the coolest genre of music on planet earth. Okay? And this is the reason why they had to use hip hop. Because everybody loves hip hop. And as long as when you're talking about Killing the ops, as long as you ain't talking about killing cops or killing whitey or killing a judge or killing a, a FBI agent, then it's all right, man. Come on, man. Come sign this deal, man. You can sign this deal if you're talking about killing your brother, Mr. Black Man. Mr. Black Boy, we will allow you to get a deal as long as you're talking about killing off your own. Come on. Because everybody thinks that's cool. Everybody thinks it's cool when you're talking about killing the ops. 
And as long as the ops look just like you, yeah, come on, come get this deal. Come get this deal, Mr. Black Man. Come on. Yeah, we down with it. We gonna groove. We gonna we, we gonna dance with you to, to the tune too. We gonna dance. We gonna we gonna take you out to dinner. We gonna take you out to the bowling ring. We gonna let you come on our yacht. As long as you talking about killing your own brother. <laughs> you see, that's the industry for you. That's the industry for you. So I don't want you people talking about, oh, whatever happened to R&B? There ain't no money behind it, homie. Ain't no money behind R&B. There's no money behind it. But the only reason why there's no money behind hip hop is because there's nobody bold enough. There's nobody in the industry bold enough to put money behind it. It's not like R&B won't sell anymore. R&B will sell. It will. It's, it's the simple fact that nobody's putting money behind it anymore. Only God knows whether or not Diddy was told, hey, look, like nobody knows if if some some powerful white guy in the industry told Diddy, hey, look, we don't want you. We don't want you putting on artists that are making R&B music no more. Cut that shit out, man. Cut that shit out. We don't we don't want you doing that no more, because from what I remember, Diddy was like number one when it came down to putting on artists that did R&B music back in the day, uh, back in the, in the day. OK. Diddy was like number one. Anytime you wanted to hear a, a brand new uh, 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 R&B artist, Diddy was the guy to go to and he was going to have a, a plethora of groups or singers that just did R&B. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shoot, it, 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 it was what it was. And then as time went on, as you can see, if you were born, I would say, shoot, if you were born after 2000, you would have thought there was no such thing as R&B. It's like they killed it. The music industry killed the R&B genre, y'all. They killed it. They cut its throat. They suffocated it. They had to get rid of R&B because it was too pure. R&B, see, Usher, I need you guys to think back to the, to the days of Usher. Usher was like the, the, the biggest R&B artist at the time when R&B was, was popping. He was talking about relationships, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get back with a girl, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to make up with a girl, you know. And that genre of music was always dope. Still is dope. There's a bunch of people that wish R&B was back. The only reason why it's not, it's not, it, or it hasn't been resurrected is because people are too afraid. They're, they're too afraid of whether or not it's going to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Um, the truth is, it will be successful. If there was a, if there were record labels out there that, that, um, cared enough about the genre you see diddy is filthy rich so no matter what genre he chooses to do and whether he chooses to chooses to uh put on artists or not he's gonna make his money diddy is filthy rich i mean he got he owns the sean john brand i'm, I'm pretty sure he owns restaurant a bunch of restaurants and stuff he don't got to do nothing musically no more for nobody, okay? So, um, if you're wondering whether R&B will make a comeback, I mean, <clears throat> I have no clue. And I'm starting to think to myself, maybe I need to start my own label and put on my own artist or something like that. Because um, I sometimes I do get sick and tired of... Um, Hearing the same crap on the radio over and over and over again. And then anytime I want to listen to some good, pure music, I got to turn to the station that got the white people on it. You know, 
shout outs to my my good white folk but um the the uh, uh the music industry is making it seem like y'all are the only ones that can make good music like this like i said shout shouts out to teddy swims shouts out to 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 gavin DeGraw, okay um and shouts out to all of the soulful white guy or, or white singers period shouts out to y'all but what i don't like is how the industry is is controlling the cards by by literally telling black men you cannot make that kind of music you're black we want you to be we want you to make rap music yeah stay in your genre you're from the streets right stay in your genre see that's how they do that's how they do black men if they see that you black, they want you to be a damn rapper. You can't be no soul singer. You can't do that. Um, when you look back, you think about Bob Marley. Bob Marley was powerful. He made soul music. Of course, it was reggae, but it was soulful. It was beautiful music. Um, anytime a black man makes that kind of music, you know, um, I could also put, I could also put, uh, Jimi Hendrix in the same lane as, uh, Bob Marley, if you want to get technical. Anytime a black man is creating soulful music, he becomes a threat. Okay. Same thing with Pac. See, Pac was a rapper, but he was too positive. You see? You see that? So you got... <laughs> like I said, guys. Like I said. Like, I know I know, you, I know y'all are paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Anytime you have a black soulful singer and he doesn't indulge in this kill him, kill him, murder him, who the ops? I'm a killer ops. Anytime you have a soulful musician like that, he becomes a threat. He becomes a threat by being positive. He becomes a threat by not indulging into the bull crap that the industry tries to force him to be into you see they don't want positive music created by black men period point blank that's what this video is about guys so with that being said i'm gonna cut this video uh right here but when you get the chance guys you could definitely check out teddy swims he makes great music excellent voice i gotta give him his credit um his voice is therapeutic um but he does, he does sound a whole lot like Gavin DeGraw. I had to put that out there. <laughs> but um, leave a like on this video, y'all. It's King Leo. Shy, but you know what it is. Let's go.